Good morning, everyone. I am Preeti Maitanke Gabriel, and I am absolutely thrilled to be here with you for another exciting math exploration. I know your presence here will make our journey extra special. Today, I'll be delving into the fascinating world of pie charts. So, let's infuse our money with curiosity and embark on the captivating exploration of data visualization together. Introduction to pie charts. Pie charts are a fantastic way visually to represent data, making it easier to understand and compare different parts of a whole. In my video, I'll explain what pie charts are, provide the formulas for creating pie charts, and solve problems using pie charts. Now, let's go to the classroom and get started. Hello, viewers. Yeah, we are in the classroom, so let's continue. Definition of pie charts. Pie charts are a circular graph that is divided into sectors such that the angle at the center is proportional to the frequency represented by all the different parts. In other words, a pie chart is a type of graph that represents the data in the circular graph. The slices of pie shows the relative size of data, while pie represents the whole. What I'm trying to say is that this is a circle, has a point at the center, which has a slices or sectors, which shows the relative size of data while the pi represents the whole. The sum of all the data is equal to 360 degrees, meaning that the sum of all these data is equal to 360 degrees. X pi sectoral angle equals to given data divided by the total value of given data times 360 over 1. Example 1. The lesson period in a certain school are as follows. English is 10, biology is 4, mathematics is 9, agriculture is 3, history is 3, and tourism is 7. Draw a pie chart for the information above. To get the sectoral angle, have to use each of the period to get the sectoral angle. You first of all add this period. 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 plus 4 is 23. 23 plus 3 is 26. 26 plus 3 is 29. And 29 plus 7 is 36. So the total delta is of the period is 36. English. First of all, we have a formula, what they call P over n times 360 over 1, where p is a period and n is the number of period. English, 10, which is a period, over the number of period, total sum of period, is 36 times 360 over 1. 36 times we year 1 and 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 degrees. Mathematics. Equals to 9 over 36 times 360 over 1. 36 year 1 and 10. So 9 times 10 is 90 degrees. Biology. equals to 4, 4 over 36 times 360 over 1, 36 times we year 1 and 10. So 4 times 10 is 40 degrees. Agric equals to 3 over 36 times 360 over 1. So 36 times we year 1 and 10. So 3 times 10 is 30 degrees. So agriculture and history are the same number of periods, so it will be the same um, sector angle. Tourism equals to 7 over 36 
times 360 over 1. 36 cancels 1 and 10. So 7 times 10 is 70 degrees. If you add all of the sectoral angle, it will give you 360 degrees. Now let's go to the pictorial representation of the data. For us to determine each of the sector angle that we are given from the data, we draw a circle like this, which is measured 360 degrees. Then from the center of the circle, we draw a radius line. Thereafter, we determine each of the sector angle to form a pie chart. We consider English has 100 degrees, math as 90 degrees, biology has 40 degrees, agri as 30 degrees, history to be 30 degrees, and tourism which is 70 degrees. But I'll start with math which is 90 degrees. This is our protractor. We place our protractor, this line at this point, at the center this line to the pencil line which is connected to zero this is 90 degrees 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 18 and this is 90 degrees we mark so a straight ruler we draw a line So this is mathematics 90 degrees. We go for English, which is 100 degrees. This line at this point and this line at the angle we just find, the last line we just find, angle. So this is 100 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and this is 100. We mark. Use our ruler to determine the angle. So this is English. 100 degrees. Place a ruler, a protractor like this. This line to the center, and this line to the pencil line. And straight. So agric is thirty degrees. Which is 10, 20, 30. Mark. We draw a straight line. So, agric. This is agric. Which is 30 degrees. For, for another. Which is history. History, which is 30 degrees, 10, 20, 30. We mark. Draw a straight line. This history. Thirty degrees. And biology. Which is 40 degrees. Place the line straight. Make sure it should be straight. So, 10, 20, 30, 40. Then this is 40. This is biology. 
which is 40. So see a last angle which is stories and sets 70 degrees still confirm. Make sure it's straight. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Exactly it. So tourism is 70 degrees. So this is a by charts. Now let's go to example two. Prepare Indomie in different portions for the family of four, indicating the different grams of Indomie. Here is the table of Indomie. Indomie 1 to 4. Indomie 1 has 7 grams. Indomie 2 has 7 grams. Indomie 3 and 4 has 8 grams. To find the sectoral angle, first of all, we add the order of the gram, each of the Indomie. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. 22 plus 8 is 30. So the total gram is 30. To find the sector angle, I will now use the other method I use for the first example. That is frequency over the total sum of frequency times 360 over 1. But I will use 360 over n to make it shorter. 360 stands for the sum of the circumference and n stands for the total sum of the gram. So 360 over the total sum of the gram is 30. Zero cancels here, three cancels here, one and 12. So I'll multiply each of them to 12 to get the sectoral angle. Times 12, eight times 12, eight times 12. Eight times 12. So 7 times 12 is 84 degrees. 7 times 4, 12, 84 degrees. 8 times 12 is 96 degrees. I will still write 96 degrees because it's the same grams. If you add all of this sector angle, it will give you 360 yeah, we have the sectoral presentation of Indomie that was prepared for the family of four. Indomie 1 is 84 degrees, Indomie 2 is 84 degrees, Indomie 3 is 96 degrees, and Indomie 4 is 96 degrees. Here is the circle, which is measured 360 degrees, and then draw a radius line from this points at the center of that circle. I'll do 96 degrees. You put this at the points and this at the pencil line which is connected to zero. So this is 90, 95 and this is 96. Use your ruler and draw. So this is 96 degrees. We go for 84 degrees. Put this at the center, that's the point. This 80, it's 84. Two straights. So this is 84 degrees. We go for ninety-six. This is eighty ninety. Make it straight. Make sure it should be straight. The center. This is 90, 
95 and this is 96 use your ruler to draw a straight line so this is 96 degrees and this is 84 degrees 84 degrees will be for indomie 1 so indomie 1 is 84 degrees indomie 2 2 is 84 degrees indomie 3 is uh, 96 degrees and indomie 4 is uh, 96 degrees so this is a pie chart of the indomie that was prepared for the family of four wow we have reached the end of our math exploration and pie charts i hope you found my presentation informative and enjoyable Remember, pie charts are a great tool used for visualizing data. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Springfield Mathematics Video Contest 3.0. Have a wonderful day and see you in my next video. Goodbye.